everybody, it's Blue Ducky and welcome back to another doll review. In this video I have the Intergalactic Gala Supergirl from DC Superhero Girls to uh, unbox and review for you. Here's a look at the back where you can read a little bit more about the DC Superhero Girls and then also the Intergalactic Gala and the different dolls that are in this line. Okay, so here is Supergirl out of the box, and I have to say, I don't know if the doll came first and then the box art, or the box art then the doll, but whichever way it was, they didn't really do a whole good job in making them look alike. First of all, we have the hair. You see she has this ponytail here, which they did not do at all with the doll. Her blonde hair is just loose down her back. There's no cute ponytail. Her bangs are completely different from the picture. As you can see, it's off to the side. It's gelled and stiff. Um, her face, she does have her blue eyes and red lips. And then she has a necklace with a blue stone in it. Then the next thing that is not like the picture at all is her little, uh, her family crest there, which they put on this very weird sort of crop, like tank top thing that's red that goes over her dress. I don't know why they just didn't have the crest attached to the dress like the picture, because honestly, I think... The doll would have looked a lot better that way instead of having this over shirt thing on top of her dress. Now going down into her outfit, I do like Supergirl's cape. Um, I think it was the most successful way of integrating a cape into a gala dress. Although it still does have the rough edges of the fabric, just the raw edges of fabric. Which I don't like and it does have the gold trim along the bottom but when you turn it around there's just the stitching I wish they had made the decision to put that on both sides then her dress has a blue top with some um, shiny dots and if you look at the picture once again you can see it kind of this sort of has that texture, but then the skirt part also has the same texture. So what I think they should have done, and they did not, was use this fabric on both the top and the skirt. I think that would have been really nice little extra there. She has the uh, yellow ribbon around the top and the bottom of her dress that mimics this metal belt on the picture. She does have both the yellow bracelets and then this kind of over skirt as opening in the front and a longer in the back. Once again with the just the cut fabric edges which I'm not a fan of but that's what they did, decided they wanted to do with the intergalactic gala line on all the dolls. Then she has these very simple blue and yellow boots. Just a little bit of a wedge heel, a little bit of yellow on top, and blue for the rest. Okay guys, so my overall rating from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, and this is my own opinion, yours might be different. I would give her... Um, I would give her a a 6 out of 10. Like, I think I like her a little bit more than the other Intergalactic Gala dolls. Out of the three, there was Superwoman, I mean Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Starfire. And I think she might be my favorite just with her dress. And I, I like... I like her dress better without the, the little weird red plastic top. 
I wish, I really wish the crest was just attached to her, her dress instead of this red thing. I think it would have looked so much better. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this review. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!